Hello, I'm here to show you how to do the area under the curve trapezoidal area under the curve estimation for Cosma data extraction to get uh, how much VO2 and how much CO2 somebody uses when they're doing exercise or anything like that. So, um, mine may look just slightly different from yours. Depends on what you ask them to extract and also depends on uh, if you've cleaned up yours at all or not. I have cleaned up mine because there's a lot of columns that will go on almost ad infinitum it feels like but uh, don't worry about that I just deleted the extra columns that I didn't need because I don't need that data and it was going to be all viewable on one screen versus having to scroll back and forth for my purposes of this demonstration. So where we'll start is we'll start with time so time here is 12 hours, 0 minutes, 3 seconds a.m. So it's not going to be very useful for us to use this because um, it won't know what to do with that time format or anything like that. So first we're going to come here to column K and insert a column. And we'll call this time, even though the time next to it is. It says seconds. It's not really unfortunately. They got that wrong when they did it. We're going to put ours in minutes, so we'll do equals to, and then the column next to it, and multiply it by 1440. You may be wondering, what's that number? Ah, we got a weird custom first. So we need to change this to general. That's just under the number. You just go up, and it should say custom. You want to change that to general, though. This is in minutes now. Um, so that 1440 is the number of minutes in one day. So if we would, did want this in seconds, we would do 8,600, uh, 8, sorry, 8,000, 86,400, and then let's just skip back, that back into general. Okay, now this is actually in seconds that's usable by us for calculation purposes. However, we're going to keep it in minutes, so get back to 1440. Don't worry about that. And then once we got that, we can double click this and it will apply the time throughout. That 1440 multiplied by whatever numbers in the column next to it on the same row. Then we need to come on over to Q. We're going to click insert there and then come over to S and click insert there. This will be our area under the curve for VO2. It's going to be in milliliters. And this is area under the curve for VCO2. And that's, again, going to be in milliliters. All right. So now we come to the formula that we're going to be using. To do area under the curve, it's going to be the trapezoidal method. So we'll do equals to, to parenthesis, column immediately next to it, followed by the column above it in the same row, divided by 2. It's just drawing a line between those two, defining the midway point between those two. And then multiply that by the change in time. This minus that. So the time at this point minus time of that point. Okay, so we should have a pretty small number here, 34 milliliters between that breath, between that time. And then once we got that, uh, we can double click and apply it throughout. One thing real quick, I'm just going to change this real quick so that those dollar signs just will make it so that it will only apply to these specific columns. So what I can do then is copy that, not cut, I'm going to copy that and paste it here. That saves me a step. And just to check, I'll click here and see that these are highlighted with the correct time. So that kept time in the exact same place, 
just you have to make sure that you have these at the same level or else it's not going to do it correctly and then double click that and it will apply it throughout alright so that's taking care of the setup now we need to get this into a uh, usable uh, places where we can figure out where things happened so we have these markers over here the first one there should be if I'm recalling correctly seven marks so the first mark is the start of rest start rest and then we come down here it should be the end of rest now what we did was we did about six minutes of rest and let me just scrunch a couple of these columns down just a bit more so that you can see that all in one thing without making it too too small okay mark there mark there that's about six minutes a little bit over six minutes so end rest great okay then we go down to the next one should be the start of exercise and when, so what we did was six minutes of rest and then exercise for as long as the person could and then they rested for ten no sorry six minutes so start okay then end exercise should be the next one and that was about okay from nine from eight to nine okay so about fifty seconds and then we go on down down all right then we have the person uh, ending exercise then when we get to the next one we have and rest which also is just the which is just the end of rest and then we had a short break and then start exercise and exercise and finally the last one is and rest so we had them do two sets of exercise with six minutes of rest in between all right so we are just interested in these intervals when we get to them So our first one is rest. All right. So how much did they? How much oxygen, CO2, did they have during rest? To make this just a little bit easier, I'm going to do a different kind of style for these two columns. I'm going to do do this just so it's easier for me to tell and I don't have to scroll up all the time or remember that this is even Q. Alright, so I'm going to do the sum right here and also the sum here and I just copied and pasted that. Alright, so that tells me how much oxygen and how much CO2 that this person used during those six minutes of rest and this was sitting rest for our purposes then I'm going to add another cut into here not cut but insert two rows to make it so it looks like a cut and then we're going to go all the way to the end so the end of exercise doesn't matter too much but we're going to go to the end of exercise uh, sorry end of rest and we will find out how much total that they used oxygen and co2 okay and we add one for the start of the second bout of exercise 
and since this one's already at the end, um, we can just go all the way to the end. If by chance you did have extra breaths after the actual uh, last mark, you can just either get rid of them or you can add a cut to right here if there was an extra row here. However, we don't have that problem. So we'll do another summation. We'll sum. And that's it. We can also do some other stuff like we can find out the time of that interval. This minus that. So seven minutes. Then this one is this minus this. Well, that one doesn't matter too much because that one wasn't, that was this time in between the end of rest and start of exercise. This minus that, eh, almost seven minutes itself. And then rest. So just a little bit over six minutes. That's okay, it's just all sitting rest. All right, so we have our area of the curve for VO2, VCO2 for rest. Exercise one and exercise two. And that's it, that's all we need. If you have any questions, please feel free to email myself or your instructor. Thank you.